this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use our packet generator in version 11 to send packets, uh, specifically TCP packets this time. I'm going to send three spaced a quarter of a second apart and I'm going to use this source IP and this destination IP. Of course I can change the source IP to anything I want but in this case I'm just going to copy my WinPCAP interface IP over to the source. You have your various flags, your fragmentation, and your code point bits, which are define the priority of the packet, and then various identification. You can set your time to live here if you want. First thing I'm going to do is launch our packet capture tool right here. I'm going to use port 81. So here we go. I'm going to filter by that, and I'm going to only look at TCP so it can reduce the amount of information we see in our packet capture. So now we go back here and manually start the packet capture. I'm going to select this. Nor normally I would send like a SYN packet, but I'm going to add this extra flag to it and add these other numbers. Let's put something else in here. And this is the data I want to add, but of course SYN packets don't have a payload, but that's okay. Let's make sure our destination is port 81. Now I could have launched the hex editor here and created um, you know, whoops, hit the wrong button. Anyway, I could have created um, my own binary payload file and I could save it. But for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm not going to do that. You would select the binary file here or a text file. So let's go ahead and hit send packet and see what happens back on our packet capture. So we go back to packet capture, we hit stop. As you can see here, we have the three that we sent out and three replies. And I'm going to drag this so that it's a bit bigger. Here we go. Now you can see the first packet here that went out had the sin and the, the push flag sent. So then you can see the sequence that we made in the destination source ports. And if we go in here, you can actually see that payload that we added, which is not usually part of a SYN packet. And then you can see the response back. It's a reset, essentially. It's saying, hey, wait a minute. We don't want to see this on this port. There's nothing there. So it sent back the reset those other flags sent. And of course you can see that they're kind of strange having three of those flags set. So another thing I want to show you in this packet capture tool is I could launch Wireshark from it right here using this selection. And if I do that then I can view this in even more detail. But the important thing to see here is how to actually send a TCP packet and see the response coming back. Of course, you could always go and view the, the logs if you happen, happen to have uh, packet capturing going on the other machine. You can see what actually comes in on the other machine. So that's all I have to say about sending a TCP packet today. There's a lot more to it, and of course there's different types of packets that you can send. That was one of the simplest.